Great day everybody, welcome to Skill Up Dimension. Today we got here another video from one of the most popular first person shooter ever made, Counter Strike Global Offensive. And today I would like to show you how to create and use your own practice config. So first of all, you have to go to directory where your CSGO is installed. So in my case, I will go to local disk D, then I will go to Steam library, Steam apps, come on, Counter-Strike Global Offensive and then I will go to CSGO and click on CFG. Your pathway to the CFG files uh, can look a little bit differently. So basically you can go there from Steam 2 as I'm going to show you right now. So you will simply go to library. You will find at the left the Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Click by right, go to properties and then you will just simply go to local files and go to browse local files. And as you can see, as soon as I clicked on it, I simply went straight to Counter-Strike Global Offensive file and then I will go just to CSGO and again CFG. Now, when you are at the CFG folder, you have to find the config, which is actually your actual config in the game. Then you can simply copy it and paste it anywhere in the same uh, folder. As you can see, we created config copy. So this will be our new practice config. So then you have to just simply decide what name it will have. So for example, practice. So we call it practice. Uh, and as you can see, as soon as we will open it, I already said that it's opened like in a notepad. So here you can see basically all of the configuration of your default config. Here you can change various things like, for example, the view model and many more things. But this video is not about the normal config but about the practice one so basically if you would like to see video about the normal config and how to create your own you can simply hit the like and comment and i will take a look on it but simply in our case so this is the normal configuration so i will just select all and then i will simply delete it from the folder because this is the the basic config that we have and it's actually the copy of the basic config so we don't need it okay i will click ctrl plus s to save this as you can see right now it is empty file so now we need to put some kind of commands into this file so we could actually create our own practice config for this i created one unique file with all the commands so i will simply copy it and paste it into our new practice config and as you can see this is our practice config. This is our config that we are using during our tutorial videos about smokes, molotovs and many more. So let's talk about what is actually in our practice config. So first of all, you see here server config. So those settings are about the server at all. Here SV cheats, it actually enables cheats, but not like you are wall hacking or aimbotting, but it's simply to you could change the all of the other things during your practice but don't worry as soon as you will leave your practice map it will again turn on to be zero so you don't have to be worried to get what's ban or anything for just sv cheats and nextly we got here mp limit teams zero that means that there will be no team limit so for example let's say you want to practice that you are going one counter terrorist versus 10 terrorists uh, normally you could not do that because the teams have to be at least a little bit balanced yeah like five on five ten on ten and so on but if you will click on mp limit teams zero it will actually set no team limit so you can be easily one versus ten nextly we got here mp underscore auto team balance zero that actually turns off auto team balance so basically those two lines are working a little bit together um mp round time 60 so the maximum round time is set to 60 minutes that means that your map will take a 60 minutes of course you can disconnect it anytime you want or restart it anytime you want but yeah at least your map will not be restarted every two or three minutes like normal rounds are uh, nextly MP runtime def 60 is basically the same but uh, I like to use the both commands because in my case it's working just better MP max money so it's actually setting your max money to the 60,000 instead of 16,000 nextly MP start money this is actually setting up your money with which you are starting your practice so in our case 60,000 nextly mp freeze time zero it's no freeze time in its beginning of each round so basically the process are a bit faster mp underscore buy time 9999 thanks to this command you can actually buy during the old practice so let's say we are 50 minutes in 
the practice and you can still for example buy the nades or op or anything you want nextly mp by anywhere one so this will actually set that you can buy anywhere not only on the spawns what is again really useful command as we infinite ammo one means that you have infinite ammo that means you don't have to care about buying new weapon or reload anything if you would put here two that means that you have again infinite ammo but you have to reload so let's say you have ak-47 if there is one you can simply spray million bullets and nothing happens actually but as soon as you will put here two you have to actually reload after every 30 bullets but you have infinite magazines nextly we got here ammo grenade limit total five uh, so you can now have all five grenade types at the same time Next one is bot kick, which will simply kick all of the bots and MP warm up end. So this will actually end the warm up and you can start out the practice. So nextly we got here practice as we grenade trajectory one. Thanks this you can actually see where your nades are flying. This is what we are actually using the most during our tutorial videos. Thanks this you can see where the nade drop, how many times it's like bounce and basically yeah it is really really useful command and it's really nice to see. Nextly as we grenade trajectory time 10 it's actually just prolonging the time of the green trajectory so uh, if you would put just green trajectory one to your config you would see this green line behind your uh, nades but not for too long time so this is why we are putting this command here show impacts one thanks this you can actually show the bullet impact so it's essentially useful when you are practicing spray control recall patterns and many more or when for example you are training if some of the materials or walls or anything at the csgo is wall bangable bangable I, I don't know just let's say if you want to try if you can shoot through some kind of the materials okay as we show impact time 10 uh, it's again just prolonging the time to 10 seconds okay then you can see here command for mp restart game one so this command will restart the game and then actually all of the commands above uh, will be already used and will be set next you can see here for example bind j no clip uh, so this is my own command so when i click j i can simply fly anywhere i want so basically i can throw the nade and then by j i can simply fly to the end destination to just see uh, how it landed if it landed well and so on okay and in the end of the config you can simply see some eco and skill up dimension practice config loaded so basically this will be wrote uh, at the end of the config before i will show you how it's actually working in the game i have for you here few more commands which you can use uh, simply write the goat it will turn on or off your god mode so basically even if you will no clip and you will like fall from the high it will not kill yourself if you will be low health nextly cl underscore show pos it will show your current position in the top left corner of the screen and next ones are commands about the bots so first is bot add t uh, it will add the bot to t team nextly bot add ct it will again add the ct bot uh, bot kick will kick all of the bots from the game bot stop one will stop the bots they will stand still and do nothing and nextly bot mimic one uh, bot will mimic your movement and actions and by bot mimic zero you can turn it off again so these are finished practice config i will click on ctrl plus s to actually save it i will turn it off and see ya at the counter strike okay so now when we are at the counter strike i will simply go to one of the maps to i could actually show you the config so uh map the uh my rage like this and as you can see we are going straight to the map okay so let's say we want to be t's uh, as soon as we will join the server i will open the console if you don't know how to open the console simply go to escape settings and end the game and then go to enable developer console yes and then anytime you will click on semicomma that's uh, like this sign or i believe it's semicomma uh, so you can actually open your console easily so when we are at the server already as you can see there are 10 let's say players even that's bots so i want to change this to actually my practice map right now so i will go to console click on exec what will actually execute the config and click then 
practice because this is the name of our practice config so i will click on ok and as you can see scale up dimension practice config loaded so right now you can see we have 60 minutes time we are the only ones on the map we have sixty thousand dollars when i will click on j i can simply fly on the map and then i can for example as you can see this is the spawn but as you can see i can buy the things even there in front of the ramp so uh yeah so basically this is our config now as you can see when i will throw the nade you can simply see the trajectory and you can see how it actually bounced how it landed and then you can just check about the smoke if it is everything correct okay ladies and gentlemen so this is all for our tutorial how to create your own practice config i really hope i helped you i really hope you liked it uh, if you like this video and if you want to see more tutorial videos from counter-strike global offensive simply hit the like button if you want to support this channel please hit the subscribe or you can become our patron at the patreon page by what you can support our tutorials at all and uh, yeah that's really all thanks for watching have a nice day and see See ya at the next video. Goodbye.